Hey YouTube, it's the Unknown Arborist. Um, I'm here with my 1999 Ford F350. I was having uh, problems with it running right. I sent the injectors in to get them rebuilt and I'm still having the same problem. So I'm tracing it uh, all the way back to the IDM. Um, I'm checking the wiring to see if there's a short or a fault in it. I am kind of think it's the IDM now, but I want to show you how to check the wiring all the way to the injectors. Um, which pins are which and what you need to do to make sure all your wiring from the IDM to the injectors is, is good to go so that way when you put in a new IDM you don't burn it out so um, here's what we got uh, IDM is going to be on the driver's side um, right under this fender I just pulled down the fender well and pulled it out and right here we got the, the plug and uh, here's what you're going to need to test. Um, so your left bank, um, which I believe is the driver's side. I don't have that schematic in front of me, but I'm pretty sure it's the driver's side. Uh, it's going to be pin number 23 is the ground for that. So these, this top row up here, don't worry about that top row. It's not going to be used. This middle row, all the way across, and the bottom row is what you're going to be dealing with. Okay, so pin number 23 is going to be, this is 21 in the middle row, right to the left of the screw, first hole. 22, 23. The ohms you're going to want is between 2.9 and 3.6, the resistance. So if you got an ohm meter, turn to resistance, and you're going to want to measure these. It's going to want to be between 2.8 uh, and 3.6. So here's number 23. That's the ground to the left bank. From the ground on the left bank, I only got one hand, so I can't hold the uh, phone. And uh, the, other, the other thing to the ohm meter, so I'm just going to show you, and you can figure it out. So you're going to hold this in number 23. And with the other side of the ohm meter, you're going to measure number 22. That's right next to it. So you're going to put one in number 23, one in number 22. And that's going to be cylinder number two. And you're going to check that for resistance, 23, 22. Keeping it in number 23, you're going to go to number seven. So down here at the bottom, this first hole right here in the black is number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is going to be the first hole to the right of the screw on the bottom row. So number 23 and number 7. Check that for resistance. Now you're going to go number 23 to 19. So keep, one, keep it in 23, 20, I mean 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. It's going to be the second hole to the right past the screw in the middle. 23 and 19, check that for resistance. And then the last one is 23 and 9. So 21, 22, 23, and 9. So down here is number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's going to be the second hole to the right of the screw on the bottom row. Do that in number 23. You're checking all those for resistance. That's going to be your left bank. On the right bank, you're going to be number 24 is the ground circuit. So 21, 22, 23, 24 is going to be the fourth one to the right in the middle, uh, to the left in the middle row. You keep it in number 24, that's your ground, and then you're going to test the, the positive leads to each injector. So your first one is going to be 24 and 6. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to be the second one to the right at the bottom of the screw. The bottom row to the right of the screw. One, two, right here. That's number six. So you're gonna go 24 and six. That's uh, cylinder number one. Next, you're gonna do 24 and 21. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 is right over here, you're gonna keep it in there because that's the ground. 21 is the first one to the left of the screw in the middle. That's cylinder number three. 
Cylinder number five is 24. And number eight. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is going to be the first one to the left of the screw on the bottom row. That's number 24 and number eight. Cylinder number five. Uh, the next one is 24 and 20. So if this is 21 right here to the left of the screw, the first one to the right of the screw is going to be 20. So 24 and 20 is going to be cylinder number 7. So that's going to test all your injectors. You're going to want it between 2.8 uh, 2 resistance and 3.6. And you'll know that you don't have any shorts there. Your second test is going to be your IDM ground circuit test. So on this test, you're going to want to test resistance, but you need an open circuit. You don't want any resistance at all. You just want it open, no reading, zero. If you have a reading, you're in trouble. So you're going to go from 23, that's 1, that's 21, 22, 23, to 26. That's this hole right here, this open hole in the middle. 23 to 26, and then 24 to 26. You want those open. If, the, if it's a closed circuit, if you got resistance, you know you got a short somewhere. The next one is going to be 23 to 18. So there's 21, 20, 19, 18. That's going to be the third to the right in the middle uh, past the screw. That's the third one over past the screw. Then you're going to go 24 to 18. That needs to be open. If you have any resistance, uh, you got trouble. If, uh, if all those things read correctly, your wiring is going to be good to your injectors. It's going to be your IDM. I uh, hope this helps you out. Um, you can also run power through those 12 volts. Uh, I ran 12 volts through uh, and checked it with one of those little um, light indicators. And uh, yeah, I got power running through all my injectors. Everything looks good. Looks like it's going to be the IDM. Um, I just wanted to help somebody out and show you what you need to test and what the holes are because I didn't find that on the internet. I had to look up some schematics and I know videos are a lot easier to do. And so um, right here, this is going to be the top where this little clip is and this screw and then you'll see these two rows. The middle row and the bottom row are the two that you're going to want to use. All right, you two. I'll catch you later.